hey, hey, y'all shut up. I know y'all see that table slapping funny is about to come on. What's good, YouTube? It's your boys. <laughs> Table slapping funny, you know. TSF for short, if you don't feel like saying all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully you enjoy your time right here. And if you do, yeah. leave us a like. Please. Comment. Tell us how you feel about the video. I mean, tell us something. If you haven't already, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to it. Yeah, click that bitch. You know what I'm saying? You can share the video to show somebody. And right, right, right. And after you subscribe, hit that little bell. Yeah. So you know whenever we upload. Yeah. Just get notified, you know. Right, and right. today... Hello, what you doing today, Mike? We have a review for y'all. Mm -hmm. A movie review. Yeah. For a classical <laughs> classic. Oh, God. Um, the newly released Invader Zim Into the Florpus movie. You know what? When did when did Invader Zim get stop coming on the air? Like, when did it end? What year? Officially uh, 2006. 2000. Damn! Right. <laughs> I want to say 2006. I'll put the right date on the screen. I want to say 2006. Uh, the show didn't run that long. Only reason it technically ran in 2006 is because later on Nicktoons, they aired the unaired episodes because you know the show got canceled right. during the second season. So there was some episodes that was never released or unaired or something like that. So technically, uh, 2006. So, damn. Yeah. yeah. What is it, 13 yeah, years? 13 years. 13 years. Yeah. People have been wanting the show to come back. And they, I, I guess it's, this is what we get. This is what we get. Which, hey, man. We, you know, we'll, take hey, what we, we'll take what we we'll get. Take, we'll take it. We'll take it. So, we'll you know, we we're just going to give you our thoughts. Our thoughts. Our thoughts about it and stuff. We're going to um, try to keep it as spoiler free as possible. Yeah. Yeah, because it's um, still relatively new. We yes, should get this out maybe a day or two after it comes yeah, out. Yeah, so... so People still need to watch it. Um, so, um, I'm gonna let you go first. Let you oh, go man, you gonna let me go first? That's, yeah. like, that's cool. Oh, man. Um, first thing first, I'll just go ahead and Rest say Rest in peace, Uncle Phil. Yeah, for real. You the only father that I ever... I'm playing, I'm playing. I, I have four figures. But anyway, uh, it's really good, y'all. Come this way. Hmm. I'll take the school toy. Get yeah, get a little more in there. Ugh. Uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, so, um, yeah, it's, it's really good, first off. Uh, the wait was worth it, I will say that, uh, because this, there was a lot of anticipation for this. There was a lot that they could have messed up, um, a lot they could have screwed up, but you can tell, um, shout out to the creators, the writers, the animators, um, there was so much love put into this. Um, it was one of those things where it's so good. It started off, because it, it, it was good from the beginning. Right. It started off so good, it kind of had me worried. I'm like, damn, this shit. Thought it was going to have to drop off. Yes, yeah, so I'm like, this, hey, they, they going crazy right now. The, 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 the humor, dude, like, the, Invader Zim humor was so distinctive. There was When it was on the air, there was no show, show like it. I mean, we grew up with it. Hell, when it was on the air, I mean, we was, what, young as hell when it was on TV. Fucking Eight, nine, yeah, ten, yeah, something like that, or whatever. But we still watched it, and even though we probably didn't get everything, it was one of our favorite shows and, and stuff like that. And to see it back in in, in high definition, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. The the upgrade, right? I ain't gonna lie. At first, it took a little adjusting to, like, oh my god, look, it's it's back, right? Um, you know, the original voice actors are back, right? We got pretty much any character. That you cared about for the most part is in this film. Except for the teacher, we didn't get to see. Yeah, we, we didn't we didn't get to see that. So if you expected to see see the uh, teacher, then you could be a little bit uh, disappointed. But yeah, man, it was it was it was really funny. Um, I haven't. I watch a lot of funny stuff, I think, but it's been a while since I've had like huge belly laughs, like <laughs> chuckling just at because it's one. Invader Zim is one of those those properties, one of those shows. It's like. 
they just throw punch after punch after punch. And all the jokes don't land, but they throw so many that it's, imp <laughs> it's impossible for them not to have a funny episode right. or for them to have it. And this movie was just hilarious all the way through. It was multiple times and the, the physical comedy, the, the, the references, all the stuff. There's just, there's just so much going on and there's so much I want to say. But like I said, we will try to keep this spoiler free as possible. But if you're an Invader Zim fan, you've been waiting for um, this show to return in some form or fashion. This is the way to go. I'm so happy um, and, and proud of, uh, you know, it's, it's on Netflix, of course, but I'm so proud of Nickelodeon for taking a property that we love and treating it with respect. You know what I'm saying? Because this could have this could have went bad. They didn't try to throw any um, over-the-top messages. They didn't try to be political or nothing like that. It's Invader Zim in full form, 71 minutes of greatness. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? So that that's how I feel about it. Um it's been a while to be a movie review. You normally give our ratings after we talk or like at the end. I don't even remember. I'm going to do Man, I'm how I'm feeling right now or whatever. I'm um I'm leaning towards an A plus. I'm leaning towards an A plus, maybe even an S. Um <laughs> it was that good or whatever. Because uh, when I think of S, I think of like a masterpiece or something like that. Something that's just great. Right? But I'm thinking an A plus for this. Almost an S or whatever. I mean, they didn't really do anything wrong. But, dude, it's, it's just a great experience. Like, I, I, I would recommend it 100%. I'm probably going to end up watching again because there's some stuff I probably didn't catch the first time around. So, hey, man, prop, props to these guys or whatever for just, uh, and, and just one thing that the finale of this is so exciting. It's actually really intense. Like, they, the stakes are high and everything like that, more so than you would expect it to be in, in, in Invader Zim or whatever. They actually had some character development as well, too, inside the story. And that was cool to see, especially since we've been waiting so long. So, A-plus for you guys. Um, man, it's just, just a great time all together. That's all I got. All righty, for me, man, when I watched it, from the get go, I'm like, it just felt like straight nostalgia. I'm like, man, this feel like I'm watching the show. <laughs> yeah, again. yeah, yeah. It captured and bears them to the fullest. Mm -hmm. Like, like the humor was on point. It was invaders in humor from everybody, and also what I liked that everybody who, for the most part, who they showed, who was like, I guess like a character that you would remember from the show. They it seemed like they played an important role. Right. Like a poor role in the movie is like they just weren't there to be like, and yeah, yeah. it was gone. You know, just right, like right, that. Right. And also, I remember why I love Gur so much. He, <laughs> Gur man, Gur is the the best worst sidekick ever. Explain what you mean by that, baby. Because it's like <laughs> when you're trying to accomplish something, Gur is not gonna get done. No. <laughs> Even when he gets serious. Yes, sir. He's yeah. still... It's not going to get done, but, like, his character is, like... I don't know. He's so dumb that he's so lovable. <laughs> like... <laughs> I just... That's the only way I know how to explain it. Like... Right, right, right. Man, it was, it was just... It was just good, and... They had a couple twists in there that you'll be like, oh, shit. But then you think it's going away, then they'll do this. You're like, oh, shit. Damn, <laughs> right. <laughs> like, okay, you... You got me. Right, like, right, right. But um, yeah, man. They to me, they didn't do nothing wrong. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. He didn't want to, cause he be, he be trying to be stingy. But that bitch S. <laughs> that bitch S, dog. Like, and I'm feeling care. the S on it though, man. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I ain't going even front. No, it's too late. It's too I late. know it's too late. <laughs> but I'm thinking a, it's anywhere between A plus S, man. I mean, the rating don't matter. Just know it's fucking great. Yeah, it's great. It's I, a highly recommended. Yeah. If you're especially if you're an Invader Zim fan, if you if you don't enjoy this, then you just, you just, I don't know. You just outgrew the show. Yeah. Then that, that's the only way I could put it. Because, you know. Same thing. Just it's, the, it's the same thing. Just as long as, like, it was just. That be, and you, when you're sitting there watching it, you'll probably forget it's a movie and just be like, damn, I'm watching the Raiders in Marathon? Right. Like, that's how I feel. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> that's it, just what it is. It was real creative. It kind of reminds me, like, it was so well done. Like, as far as, like, being a good representation of the show. Like, it seems like a really good finale. You get what I'm saying? Like a real good closeout. Like 
you know, this is the end game, you know, this is what ends up happening. Like it almost, I, I could kind of compare it, even though it's not as long and it wasn't a, like a theatrical release, it's on Netflix, I could compare it to like the SpongeBob movie. Like it's the, the first one, right? It's the perfect representation of the show. The only thing that they change, and it ain't a problem, it's just, it's just one of the things that I remember distinctly from Invader Zim, it's like, mm -hmm. the environment wasn't greasy no more. <laughs> it didn't seem greasy, yeah, like, it looked, like, you know what I'm talking it, about, like, it, how, it, yeah, how yeah. the show used to be, like, just, just look like everything was like in a, like, you put food in a brown paper bag and all the, the juices leaked through, that's what it used to look like, it don't look like that no more, it didn't look like that during the It looked a little cleaner. It was ex clean. Except when it was being dirty, I guess. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, that nigga did, boy. Oh, y'all gotta see it, but <laughs> oh, oh man, that's crazy. But yeah, so uh, that pretty much is our thoughts, man, um, on the on the film. Like I said, we highly recommend it. Ron, you got anything else you want to say? I know you normally got some some shit to say at the end. At the end, yeah, man. Man, even though it was like a Netflix release, it wasn't on like on like television or whatever. Man, Invader Zim came back to let y'all know that he. Damn near hold the crown on Nickelodeon with this movie. So, hey. Like that's 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 for, that's just hey. my personal opinion. Hey, no cap though. <laughs> that's a good point. He had to let them know, like, cause Nickelodeon be put some dumb ass shit on TV. Cause <laughs> fuck, nobody give a fuck about the Thundermans. All right, they canceled my show. They canceled the other one though with the black people, the Haunted Half the Ways. That shit was fire. But the Thundermans went for like five, six seasons of shit. Don't know niggas don't don't know how to give a fuck about no Henry Danger, nigga. It's not, it's, not the, it's not the best. I like the main. I like I like the main actor or whatever. He cool. I look, he over here. Yeah, it's straight. It's straight. <laughs> it, it ain't you know. It's Dan Schneider. He he's done, he's done better. That's all I'm gonna say. You know. So, you know. You know. Sorry, one on one drinking jobs. I call it victorious. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Classics. Great shit. Great shit. But uh, that's all. That's that's all we got, man. So if you guys like this video. Like it. <laughs> That's how it really is. Be sure to leave a like. It helps with the engagement. Helps people be able to find our channel and stuff like that, guys. We are about time this video is uploaded, we probably would have hit 2,000 subscribers or we'd be yeah. real close to it. So that's exciting. Um, that's, an, that's that's a big deal. Uh, we're still blown away by the support uh, that we've been getting. Also, be sure to leave a comment. Let us know your thoughts on the film if you enjoyed it. Um, it was it everything you wanted? Was it everything you expected? Uh, were you disappointed? Were you underwhelmed? For the most part, I, miss, I looked on Twitter before we did this. It's, it's trending on Twitter right now. So people are going crazy because niggas been wanting this for you for a long time, right? Also, uh, be sure to subscribe. And if you subscribe, go ahead and click that notification bell so you get notified every time we upload these bangers. And this is Table Slapping Funny, signing out.